So the first question is, a lot of people have had to lie to their parents in order to come to the event today for different reasons, uh, maybe because it's a religious event or maybe because uh, different reasons. Uh, the sister's asking, what is the ruling on this in terms of uh, making this lie in order to come to an Islamic event? بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد lying is not of the characteristic of a believer المؤمن لا يكذب and it is prohibited to lie in Islam except in three situations. Number one, lying of the man to his wife and the wife to her husband. And we have to put a disclaimer. This is not for the men to lie when they're going to hang out with their friends and they say to their wives, we're going for a business meeting or I am on call or I have to do this or that. No, this is not permissible lying. Lying between the spouses is in what increases the love. So if she comes out to her husband in a new dress that it is three sizes smaller than her actual size. Instead of him laughing and saying this is your grandchild's dress, you say, Allah, how beautiful this dress is on you. I don't know who makes the other more beautiful, you or the dress. And this will give you peace for another six months. <laughs> Likewise, if your husband comes out from the shower with his towel on, inshallah, and he flexes his muscles in front of the mirror and says, how do I look? Instead of t laughing for half an hour and ending up in divorce, you say, Masha Allah, you look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. What is this? What is this? Masha Allah. So this lying is halal. Number one. Number two, lying in war. So war is about deceit. The enemies of Islam, you're about to meet them. And one of them is listening at your communications. And you clearly say that we're heading north to meet the enemies. They will find out and ambush you. No, you say, well, we're heading south or we are not fighting anymore. This is not lying. This is halal by the prophets saying, because this is war. He's interested in killing you. So defending yourself with this is permissible. And number four, okay, alhamdulillah. I was just checking your eyesight. Number three is when you try to reconcile between two. Two are fighting, hating one another's guts. And you go to one of them and say, Masha Allah, the brother Abdullah, he is fighting with you, but he said yesterday when I visited him, so many good about things about you. And he said that if, this is shaitan, if I only I can get to meet him, inshallah, everything would go. And then you go to Abdullah and say the th same thing. And you manage to reconcile. This is not lying because it is for a better good. Now, when we come to this lecture, you ask, I have to lie to my parents. For brothers, you don't have to lie. You can go against your parents' instruction for seeking knowledge because they cannot restrict men from going out. The nature of men is to work, to study. So if you get a scholarship in Medina University, and they said, no, I don't want you to go. Are you obliged to obey? No. If there are people to take care of them and they don't need you, you can go without their permission. Sheikh, am I not disobeying them? You are in jihad. You're seeking knowledge. You're a man. You are allowed to do this. When it comes to the sisters, it's different. You're obliged to obey your father and not leave the home without his permission. Your mother is secondary. Because your mother is emotional. So if someone proposes to you, your father says he's a good man from a good family, rich. And I 
approve of it. And your mother says, by Allah, if you marry him, I will not speak to you until the day of judgment. Go ahead and marry him. Because she's emotional. She does not have authority on you in such things. This is why your guardian is your father. He is who counts in yes or no. So if your father tells you don't go, you have to obey him. You have to stay back. But Sheikh, I want to learn. Alhamdulillah, we have internet. We have DVDs. We have cassette recorders. We have MP3. The knowledge will come to you. But is it the knowledge you want? Or you want to just leave the home and be out? This is something you have to ask yourself. And Allah knows best. Uh, Besides, you can always use double talk. So you don't, you don't have to say a straightforward lie. And if someone, Brother John usually asks this a lot. He says, uh, I was joking. Maybe. Uh, he wants money from me. And he says, Sheikh, do you have a hundred pounds? I said, Wallahi, I don't have money in my pocket. And I'm meaning that no uh, hundred pound bill, if there is any. No. See, I'm, I haven't lied. I don't have a hundred pound bill in my pocket. This is not a lie. This is called in Arabic, al ma'arid, simi, lies, because he understands it in a way different to what I intended it. And this might be, inshallah, a way out, and Allah knows best.